Modern cloud native applications and browsers are incredibly complex, making it challenging to truly understand how real users experience your website. Without clear visibility into the front end experience, you risk delivering a bad user experience and missing critical issues that could impact website performance. But what if you could see exactly what your users are experiencing in real time? This is where front end observability can be invaluable to clearing visibility for you. Front end observability, also known as real user monitoring, provides insights into how real users navigate and interact with your applications, which can help you address issues that might not surface during the development process. Hi, I'm Vicola, a developer advocate at Grafana. Welcome to introduction to front end observability with Grafana series. In this video, we'll explore Grafana Faro, a powerful front end observability solution, and walk through a hands on tutorial to help you easily get started with Faro. Grafana's front end observability comes in two key parts Faro, which is open source software for retrieving and sending metrics, and front end observability, which is only available in Grafana Cloud and is Grafana's fully managed solution for real user monitoring. In this video, we'll focus exclusively on Faro, but make sure to check out the next video in this series to learn more about front end observability. Faro Faro Web SDK is an open source, lightweight, and highly configurable JavaScript agent that embeds directly into your web application. Faro allows you to connect observability data from your web application and send it to Grafana Cloud. Data like performance, metrics, logs, exceptions, errors, events, and traces. With this data, you gain end-to-end -end visibility into how real users interact with your application, which helps you catch issues before they impact the user experience. Then users have two options. Open source users can use signals via the data collected by Faro, which is sent to Grafana Alloy and can be integrated seamlessly with Grafana's LGTM stack. This provides a seamless full stack observability solution that is completely open source. Or users can use our fully managed solution, Grafana Cloud Front End Observability Solution. The data collected by Faro is sent to a hosted endpoint in Grafana Cloud, and then users get automatic out of the box dashboard. Faro supports all web applications running in the browser. Now that you understand what Faro is and how it can help you, let's walk through a tutorial for how to instrumentalize our JavaScript application with Faro. We will be using Quick Pizza. This is a demo web application that allows users to generate new and exciting pizza combinations. You can get access to this application through the link in the description box. There are a few ways to instrument Faro, but this is the best way to do it if you are a Grafana Cloud user. We'll start by creating an application in Grafana Cloud. Sign into your Grafana Cloud instance. On the homepage, visit the left navigation panel and click front end. Now we are on the Grafana Cloud front end observability page. We will click create new. Next, we see a form that allows us to start configuring our application to be set up. We will fill out the name. For this video, we will choose Quick Pizza app. Next, we will choose our domain name. Quick Pizza is running locally on localhost 3333. So that is what we will add to this section. Click next, we will connect our web application. You have the option to choose your package type to install Faro. I'll choose NPM, but you also have the option to add the Grafana Faro Web SDK package using a CDN if your project doesn't have a package manager. I'll move to my terminal to install the necessary Faro packages. Next, we will choose sampling rate. This allows us to set the percentage of sessions that should be sampled. We will stick to the defaults. You have the option to choose between normal or persistent session. The difference between normal and persistent session is that normal sessions end when the user closes the tab and persistent sessions continue after the user closes a tab or browser. Now we move to your code base. There is a simple code snippet you can add to apply auto instrumenting. For security purposes, it is recommended to not hard code your URL, but we will do so for demo purposes. We choose continue to move to the next step. The third section is upload source map. This is entirely optional, but it will enable you to see the original source code of the error in the front end observability application. Now we will choose completes. As you can see, when we reload Quick Pizza, our Grafana dashboard page load metric increases, which indicates that the Faro connection is working correctly. Not only do you have page load, but we also get important web vital metrics like TTFB, time to first byte, FCP, first contentful paint, and other metrics. There you have it. 
you now know about Faro and how to instrument your JavaScript applications with Faro. If you want to learn more about Faro, make sure to visit grafana.com slash OSS slash Faro and make sure to tap the subscribe button to learn more about Grafana's front-end observability solutions. All of the links will be in the description box down below and I will see you in the next video.